Congratulations. Your company may have granted you RSUs as part of your compensation to reward you for your hard work. But very few things in life are truly free. Since equity is a part of your total compensation, it's taxable, just like your paycheck. If you are subject to U.S. taxes, the RSU process has three main parts. Each has a specific relationship to taxes. RSU Grant, RSU Vest and Delivery, and RSU Sale. Let's use Sasha as an example. Her RSU grant was made when she joined her company. Since RSUs aren't yet shares, a grant is not a taxable event, so no tax is due for number one. Next is vest and delivery of shares. Once Sasha's RSUs become shares, at delivery, they are taxable. At this point, two things could happen depending on company policy. To pay taxes due at vest and delivery, Sasha's company can choose to either withhold or sell shares to pay her taxes. Either way, the amount withheld may not cover Sasha's full tax liability, so she may owe more taxes at year end. She and you should definitely talk to a tax professional. Next is the third event, share sale. If and when Sasha decides to sell her shares, she will owe capital gains tax if the stock price is higher at sale than it was when the shares were delivered to her. If Sasha holds her shares for more than one year, she will be taxed at long-term capital gains rate. But if she sells within the first year, she will be subject to higher short-term capital gains. That's a lot of tax information, even for Sasha. Remember to seek the help of a tax professional and congratulations on being a company owner. Thanks for watching.